Hey, how's it going? Uh, in this video, I'm going to take a few minutes and show you how to uh, install Visual Studio Code so you can do Python scripting in Fusion 360. Preface, just to let you know, I did set up Fusion 360 in a, installed it in a virtual machine. So I had a clean install of Fusion with kind of a, a pretty clean install of Windows. And Visual Studio Code is not on this system yet, and I want to show you what that is like. Uh, to get set up. So in order to prepare for scripting, first step is after Fusion loads is go to the Utilities menu up top and on the toolbar select the Add-ins button. And from here what we're going to do, we want to, um, well a couple ways we can approach it. There is some sample scripts here so we could come in and um, choose one of these scripts and choose to edit it which will trigger the attempt by Fusion to launch Visual Studio Code, and if it doesn't find it, it'll take us through the process of getting it set up for the first time. The other way, which will tie into the next video I'm going to do uh, to demo some scripting, is to actually create a basic script um, to get things started here, and then try to edit it, and then it will also trigger the Visual Studio Code. So let's go that route. So we're going to create a new script, and so we cl click the Create button here on the bottom. And we want to create a script, and we're going to use Python, which is selected as a default. We're going to give our script a name, and we're going to call this uh, Edit Phone Stand Name. Um, as you can, a little hint of what the next demo is, I've got this little model called the Big Phone Stand that we're going to demo and we're going to show you a way to edit the engraved name that we put on this stand to personalize it. So we can leave the description and author blank. Really, that doesn't get used that much. Um, and we do want to target this for both Windows and Mac. You can target just Windows or both Windows and Mac. So we're going to hit Create, and that'll add that to the My Scripts uh, kind of folder that structure that's up here. And now it's waiting for us to do something. So we could try running it, which isn't going to work because, well, actually it might work because there's some basic starter code in there. But what we want to do is get right in and edit it. So when we click Edit, um, we get a prompt here because Visual Studio Code is not installed. And the, the short version of what we're looking at with all this text is that basically we're giving uh, Autodesk and Fusion 360 permission to go to Microsoft's website fetch Visual Studio Code and install it for us. So we're going to just say OK and let it go off and do that. So the one thing that's a little bit quirky here that I noticed is um, it downloads it and triggers the installer, which it's doing right now, and it's going to run the install automatically. This might be a little pokier because I'm on a virtual machine than it would be on your computer, but um, it's, it's not too... Uh, too bloated of a software so it should install pretty quickly but the thing that was kind of interesting and a little confusing for me the first time I did this is there's no dialogue saying hey we're done you're ready to go but as soon as that last dialogue that we just witnessed here disappears the Visual Studio code is installed and ready to go so our next step then is to go back to the add-ins tab select our script and click the edit button and this time because Visual Studio is in uh, installed it, you'll see that little flash of a command window come up and then it should load and run Visual Studio Code which it did right here. Um, I've been through this a couple of times on this machine and I did uninstall this to so I could reinstall it for the purposes of this video. Um, the very first time you install it you're also going to get some other pop-ups and welcome messages and you're also going to have to get through a couple of security prompts as for trusting the app to run. Anyway the script is installed, Visual Studio is ready to go and I'm going to wrap up this the uh, video right here and not get into any of this but if you do take a moment and read this you can see this is uh, Fusion 360's equivalent of uh, Hello World. So if we do nothing to this script and we close Visual Studio Code and we go to our add-in and we run it you, the way you do that is you select it here and hit the run button and we get a little pop-up on our screen that says hello script and hit the OK button and that script is done and it did its thing. So 
that's step one. So go ahead and get that set up. I am going to work on the next demo for our big phone stand here and show you how we can do some cool things with the scripting now that we have it set up and ready to edit the script. So that's a wrap. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.